Half a day and namaste, everybody. It is Diwali season, Diwali ball 2023. It is coming up, and I have two very good friends of mine, Kavita and Bobby, with the Indian Temple of Guam. And guys, thank you so much, first of all. Okay, backstory. They invited me over to Kavita's store, Pomika Sales in Timuning indoctrinated me. I mean, I've done this Diwali interview many, many times. Um, I really got like a proper lesson. And part of that is, you know, you're proud Guamanians. You've made this your home. Absolutely. Um, but also much in the same way that uh, we Chamorros have our tradition when it comes to fiestas, everyone is invited. Everybody there is family. Absolutely. And that's exactly what Diwali is about. Absolutely. You know, we uh, both grew up here. We've lived our lives here. Our family's been here for uh, at least the Hemlani family has been here for generations. So this is home more than any other place in the world. So we consider all the island, our family and friends and invite everyone to participate. This is a season of celebration of joy. And it's just one of the many festivals that we have as well as the upcoming holiday season. So we can all celebrate together. Mm -hmm. Now, Bobby, of course, Diwali being the Indian festival of light, mm -hmm. it symbolizes so many things, you know, the triumph of light over darkness of, yes. you know, of, uh, of justice and everything. So uh, tell us about the cultural significance of Diwali and you know why the local community is allowed to celebrate with you. Well, ultimately Diwali is a festival of lights and it, it, uh, we invite, we're inviting everybody to celebrate this occasion and it's, uh, it's, it brings in the, the opportunity to, to come together as a family, do our prayers and start new beginnings um, and even uh, cherish the ones that we've had before in the past. And this Diwali, especially after what we've recently gone through as a community with Mowar, I think more than ever, it's uh, the best opportune time to come together once again. Mm -hmm. And if no one out there has ever participated in a Diwali festival, the Diwali ball is coming up. Yes. Um, it's going to be at the Hyatt. Yes, next Friday, November 10th at the Hyatt. And we're inviting everyone to check out our website, which is guamindians.com slash Diwali and get your tickets and join us for the celebration. Okay, and there are so many parallels between a Diwali celebration and again, what we have here, like here on Guam, because it's about family, celebrating the youth, honoring our elders, yep. uh, food, dance, mm. color. So break it down for me, Kavita, please. So food is, of course, most important. And like Bobby was saying, one of his favorites would be butter chicken, which I'm sure people are really familiar with now. But Indian food is such a dichotomy, but there are so many similarities to local foods. We have the flavors, we have the sauces. Of course, we have rice because we're Asians and rice is life. So, you <laughs> yes, know, <please. laughs> twice, uh, including, mm -hmm. you know, the traditional Indian items like naan, the pickles, the side dishes and desserts and, you know, just everything to get the flavors, not necessarily heat, but definitely the spices, the herbs, the seasonings, and the feel of India. And there's a lot of it too, which Absolutely. is which is why any self-respecting Guamanian is going to want to participate. Yes. Definitely. Now you got to get tickets to go there. So once again, GuamIndians.com/slash/Diwali. Make sure to check that out uh, soon because you got to get tickets because this is the event um, of the month. Uh, Bobby, another reason why people should uh, should check out Diwali. What is the experience gonna gonna have, and what do well, you have lined up for them? Besides it being a, a whole cultural uh, fiesta and the rings amazing culinary delights, which will which will cater to vegetarians as well. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. okay. So that's important to, to announce. Um, the we have amazing um, acts that are coming in, and we're also going to be featuring our our local phenomenons uh, skip dancers also the skip dancers, amazing. They're, they'll be there and they'll be well ready to go and and show us uh, a little bit of a tomorrow indian fusion there you go now, <laughs> now in, in terms of the music guys i know we were talking about this the other day but um you know i i, I know many local djs i support them all all the crews are all amazing Anybody can go on Spotify and just say, like, give me, you know, the top 10 Indian playlists and right. everything. You are actually bringing someone out that is directly embedded in the culture and is going to play have an amazing soundtrack for right. us. Right. He's an Indian DJ, recently moved to the island. Um, he's worked in Mumbai in different clubs DJing. So we're really excited to have him because he's got some new sounds and, you know, more of uh, the latest tracks and things that he would be more familiar with. Uh, we also, in addition to the Skip Dancers, we also have uh, talent within the Indian community that will be performing right. that evening as well. And we've got some amazing folks in the Indian community who uh, really respect the arts really understand the dance the music the feel the song and it's just amazing to see okay we've been talking about so many aspects of, of culture one thing incomplete right incomplete let's talk about the fashion because i know bobby like <laughs> that, that that is such a big part of indian culture and i asked you a few days ago i said you know i 
you know, being my grandparents' kid, I would want to go there and I would love to participate. But at the same time, I want to make sure that I do it in a respectful manner. So okay. let's talk about the manner of dress. Well, the manner of dress is, is it, it is a more of a formal occasion. Yes. And most Indians, and we welcome everybody, not just Indians, but to be able to, to dress in the, the traditional attire. Uh, which for men is uh, can be a, like a kurta and pajama, which is like a long um, tunic uh, of an of a of a dress. Incredibly and, comfortable too. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is extremely comfortable and enough room to, to do all your dance moves as well. There you go. And then w with uh, with the ladies, they're they're wearing saris and uh, or kurta pajamas also, and um, sarvar kameez is what they what I refer to. Okay. But uh, it's uh, it's amazing. It comes with a, lots of colors and and you know just beyond the the colors itself, it's, there's a lot of uh, bling, should I say, added to, to a lot of this. Kavita, dress. If, if you would, because I was asking you again yeah. the other day about the accessories, and your des Destiny in the back is going crazy about this, so how can, we, how can we accessorize? So, you know, accessories, Indians love bright, we love big, we, you know, not subtle. So we want it Those are blingy, quite lovely. we want it big. Um, this is a festival, it's a celebration. So we show that in our manner of dress, in our accessories. So everyone brings out their jewelry, whatever you can wear, where, you know, we can wear it in our hair, on our face, in our ears, around the neck, on your nose. There's so many options around your hands. You know, you can wear bracelets from wrist to elbow, no problem. Whatever you feel comfortable in, whatever you're happy wearing, it works and it goes with the outfit. Absolutely, so everybody, once again, guamindians.com slash Diwali. D-I-W-A-L-I, -I. make sure to hit that. Make sure to buy tickets because it is absolutely um, amazing, amazing experience that you are going to want to be part of. I'm so honored that you guys would have uh, myself and we're my colleagues We're excited to here. have you. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, by the way, Kavita and I, we're going to be co emceeing So, partner, we're, we're right. going to do this. And Okay, guys, uh, final thoughts on what Diwali uh, means to you as members of the Indian community that now live here. So, you know, I spent a long time away from Guam, mm -hmm. so I wasn't able to celebrate Diwali with my family. So for me, it's always the biggest thing is celebration with my family, mm -hmm. with the people who care. Um, and, you know, it reminds me of when we were children. Yeah. It's, it's being able to share the memories. And that's what it is. I miss those memories with my family and mm. with my family friends. Also, yes. you know, the people we grew up with, we've known each other since we were children and it was always a community event. So you miss that community. Mm. And Bobby, you, this is a tradition that you now share with your children. Yes, absolutely. We've, uh, you know, when growing up here on Guam and being so far from our, our culture, we've been able to keep the culture alive throughout the years, right. keep this cultural alive and, and keep it going for the next many more years, hundreds of years to come. Absolutely, and we we're very much looking forward to it. So everybody, Guam family, make sure to, to participate, make sure to be part of the celebration. And we'll see you all next Friday. Happy Diwali. Happy, Happy Diwali. Diwali. All right, thanks everybody. <laughs> Thank you.